It's great learning about all these old traditions. Lots isn't it? of baking going on in those households. Yes, lots of cakes. Lots of cakes. Yum. <laughs> now, Alexis, yesterday you said it would be mixed weather, and it really has been already. Yes, very unsettled over the next few days. In fact, we could even see some hail and thunder and lightning as well. But let's first of all take a look at your weather pictures. Ralph Peedle photographed his dog Barney enjoying the puddles in Let Campstead near Newbury. Bob Letherby captured the cloudy skies at Chilbul Bolton Common near Stockbridge. And Ming Mok sent us this shot of the grey skies in Mudderford. So today we had a lot of clouds, some outbreaks of rain and drizzle as well through the course of the day. This rainy scene was photographed today in Dorset by Mike, one of our weather watchers. As we head through the day tomorrow, there will be a lot of cloud in general, limited brightness, the chance of thunder through the afternoon and evening, blustery winds with rain at times and a good deal of cloud. Lots of cloud can be expected overnight tonight with some patchy rain initially, then it turns drier as we head through the early hours of the morning. There will be one or two clear spells. Still a brisk breeze blowing in from the southwest, with temperatures falling to around 7 to 9 Celsius and maybe some rain arriving in Dorset first thing tomorrow morning. That rain will move north and eastwards, could be heavy for a time. It will clear most places during the second part of the day. Lots of cloud to follow, patchy drizzle as well, and then further heavy, potentially thundery rain will start nudging its way in from the southwest later on. Temperatures tomorrow will be a lot higher than today, up to around 13 to 14, even 15 degrees, which is above the seasonal average. So as we look ahead to the coastal forecast tomorrow between Selseybill and Lyme Regis, the winds are southwest, 4 to 6. The sea state is occasionally rough and the visibility is moderate or good occasionally poor. So that heavy rain, thundery in nature with hail will move its way north and eastwards. Showers to follow in some areas, very strong winds. In fact, tomorrow the winds could gust along the coast up to around 35 miles per hour. For parts of Dorset tomorrow, we could see gusts of around 40 miles per hour along the coast. Inland areas, gusts of 30 miles per hour, still strong winds as we head into the start of Thursday with a low of 10 to 11 Celsius. So in double figures, very mild night to come tomorrow night. Looking ahead to Thursday, it's a day of sunshine and blustery, thundery showers with hail and lightning. There will be a squeeze on the ice bars, so the winds will still be brisk. And Thursday night, we see another weather feature start pushing in from the southwest during the overnight period into Friday morning. So some really heavy rain and strong winds overnight Thursday into Friday morning. Remaining brisk winds, where well, the winds will stay brisk on Friday with some rain at first. That will ease as we head through the afternoon with rain to start April and turning trier into Sunday. And Jenna. Alexis, thank you very much. Well, that's it from us this evening. Tom Hepworth will be here at 10.30 with the late news. But from Lexis and I and the rest of the team, thanks for watching and goodbye. Good night.